much in rain. A pretty warm start to the morning compared to what we would normally expect for this time of year. Uh, usually we would see temperatures overnight in about the mid to lower 20s. Instead, we are enjoying upper 30s to start off the day. 37 degrees is the temperature outside right now. Again, average for this time of year. 24, so a good comparison there. One important thing to note there is because of the dew point temperature being so similar to that air temperature, that's how we know that fog is going to be present. And so really across the board, we see fog as we wake up. Of course, humidity very high because of that. Winds are staying calm, though, to start off the morning. That view outside still beautiful around downtown Spokane. This afternoon, expect afternoon highs just around 43 degrees. That sun will come up in about two hours from now, two hours and five minutes or so. And cloudy skies just kind of hang out with us for the hefty portion of the day. On Monday, we told you if you wanted a week of sunlight and sunshine, you weren't going to get that. And that is still the case as we head now into your Thursday and then tomorrow into your Friday. You're not going to get much of the sunlight, but you will at least enjoy dry skies for a good portion of the day. Unless you're through the Idaho panhandle where we're still picking up on a couple showers here and there that are even bleeding a bit into eastern Washington. Most of these taper off very quickly, though. You could see our chances of wet weather after about 5 and 6 p.m. today very, very small. So that lasts all the way through the day uh, and the night on Thursday. It continues then into your Friday. You could see just some very, very light scattered showers that could pop up on Friday, but generally Friday is going to be a very mild day. That is until Saturday. Saturday, we start to see wet weather move back in. It starts off down to the south of us and then we'll move up north. We'll take a closer look at that in uh, just a minute. But uh, on our DOT cameras out there, we're still seeing some very wet roads. It's important to note that in those areas where temperatures are sub freezing, so below about 32 degrees or so, we're seeing some of those roads include some patches of frost and uh, still seeing some frozen roadways. So it's important to note that you're taking taking it slower on the roads to start off the morning and also especially in those areas of fog where visibility is limited. Take it a lot slower. Uh, high temperatures for this afternoon again mostly taking it to the 40s. We've got 42 for Coeur d'Alene, 45 for Spokane, 41 for Moses Lake, 38 for Wenatchee and 44 for Pomeroy. Uh, looking farther ahead. Now our models get worse as you move farther ahead, but uh, just to give you kind of a blanket picture of what we see headed into uh, your Saturday, this is what we're talking about, right? The arrival of a lot more green. There are some spots of, of course, blue and purple on there indicating snow. So that is mainly off toward the Idaho Montana border and up toward the north of us. Spokane and Kootenai County both hanging out in the green all the way through your Saturday and Sunday. So this is still pretty far out again. Saturday and Sunday is when we see the arrival of that system between now and then we're staying dry with cloudy sky. So today cloudy, tomorrow cloudy. Saturday is when we see the arrival of that system. It'll linger a bit into Sunday, but then taper off relatively quickly as a high pressure system kind of takes its place right after. So uh, the good news then is that to start off next week, we could be moving toward a pretty solid patch, about three days straight of drier skies, but cooling temperatures.